Hello everybody and welcome to another series of Jim Sunday Sandwich. Another series I didn't want to do actually to be because I'm the shit in the middle of this Sam. I'm the shit sandwich you've all heard people talk about because they pick on me. Yeah. They do, they do. And I sit here and I have to take it. Stop, what, you, you found a bit of fluff? Oh, that reminds me of someone, that does. Jumper. Yeah? Yeah, he's got a hole. Oh, yeah, got, not you see, you see, uh, yeah. it's a moth. As a moth? It ain't my fault. Well, of course it's your fault, it's your jumper. <sighs> See what I mean? So anyway, let me introduce Debbie Arnold. <laughs> How are you, Debs? I'm so mean. Why are you so nasty? You don't love me. I'm you pointing are. out your hole. Of course I oh! love you. Oh, for God's sake, no, you start. No. Don't even start. Why didn't you give me any more papers to look at? Oh, yeah, I have the Sunday Times. It's got proper stories, and there's some lovely pictures oh, in it as well. Thank you, Uncle Perhaps Jimmy. you can do Ooh. some colouring in. Yeah. And on my right here... <laughs> <laughs> the director of communications for Ustream TV and former editor of a little paper that no one reads in a town that no one goes. Will you please welcome Vicky Nash? Hello. Yes, and uh, how are Crosby and Stills? <laughs> Very funny. She doesn't get that. No, you I get, that. I get that. Is yeah, that, that she's too young, you see. Yeah. Are we that old? I am that old. Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Right. Okay. Yeah, they were crap. Okay. So what's new with everybody? I mean, we've obviously got to talk about the elephant in the room. And we've also, which is the, the what is it? Well, what's going on uh, in, in Israel uh, and Palestine? We, we, we can't just not touch on that, especially when uh, Remembrance Sunday is coming up next Sunday. Um, you've got your poppy on. Your poppy just fell off there. I don't wear a poppy because I'm not a great lover of the Royal British Legion. And when you see the show proper on Ustream, which you can later on this afternoon, I'll explain why I think it's, it is important that the British Legion start to share the spoils of war a little more amongst the young charities that are struggling to help with veterans. Before we get on, and before we go over to, to Ustream, I want to mention a veteran that's having a bit of a, bit of a, not a struggle, but a bit of a thing at the moment. He's a friend of mine, he's an MP as well. His name is Bob Stewart, and he's the member for Chislehurst. And I met him in Bosnia years ago when he was CO of the Cheshire Regiment, and they did a fantastic job with Goose, you know Goose, and, and everyone were in Sarajevo, but Bob was on the ground, the boots on the ground, and he saved hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lives and, and witnessed things that you would not see, did Shebrenica, Mass, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now, I won't go into all the details, but there's a case against him for selling, telling someone from the Middle East to go back to your own country if you don't like it here. And so he's had, he, he has resigned the whip from the Conservative Party. And we all think it's a great idea that we might want to support him by having a whip round to help him uh, with his defence. So I, I, you know, I, I wish it never happened, but Bob is a friend. He's uh, someone that I've been to Bosnia with and seen how he has suffered for the, saving the lives of thousands. And because of this woke bullshit that goes on, he's now having to face uh, a judge. So we want to help him. Here's the link below. If you want to help, please go to our this Just Giving or GoFundMe page that people have set up. Bob's not set this up. This is people have set this up to help him because we think it's outrageous. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, about what he said? Yeah. Well, I would I would suggest you know we've seen this so often at the at the moment. There's so many people who seem to hate Western values, hate yeah. British culture, hate everything that we're about. And not really, is it that bad to say, if you really hate everything about this country or what we stand for, do go to the Middle East then. Go, go, go. Why yeah. are you here? Why are you here um, in a place that you clearly hate? This anti-British... Yeah, anti-British um, stuff is, is really... It just drives me mad. And of course, you know, being a nice Jewish girl, there's a whole stuff... You're not, are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my mother used to sing that. My Yiddish mama, oi vevi better than she fell. Do das thank God. I don't think I'll get a Woody again now for years. That's pain. That's the Woody guy for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So there are the. You know, someone said to me, uh, "Why do people leave Muslim countries and come here?" 
uh, because they're obviously fed up with their country, yeah. but they want to turn our country into, into their country. Their co yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I don't know. When I lived in Dubai, all the expats stayed together, all the Brits stayed together, all the uh, Japanese, they all stayed together, all the various people. I think yeah, that's but, what you do. But, did, 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 Birds of a feather stick together. together. Yeah. But, but you, f you abide by their laws and rules. Oh, you right? do in Dubai, yeah, don't exactly. worry about that. Otherwise you so end up in course. prison. Yeah. And, and so Worse than that, you get caught kissing your girlfriend in the mall, they cut, cut your quarry off and hang it up. Don't, on a, on don't you remember? When we met in Dubai 4,875 years ago. Yeah. And the airport. story going down. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> you, don't you, what, have we not told you this before? So we were at, no, it, it was probably early 80s, and you were out there, no, it's the, no, it the late 80s. You were out there doing the troops, and I was in a plane, lost the Red Hot Lovers, and we saw each other at the airport. We ran towards each other, and our company manager said, do not kiss each other. And we went, hello. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how it's stayed, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Apart from one foggy night in the home yeah. when she got half a yard. I never looked back, oh, really. She never married since, you know. Or, or, or actually rode a bike. Uh, but, um, what? Oh, God. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, maestro, up in heaven. Keith Emerson's birthday, 2nd of November. You can get one of these brochures if you go to the Ustream shop. What's that? Ustream.news, isn't it? Ustream.news forward slash. Okay, so... Forward slash? I think what, that's really rude. What's the word round the Jewish campfire now about how safe London is going to be well, in the it, next couple it, of weeks? It's, I think it's very worrying. I mean, a lot of my sort of relations have been saying that they're very, very worried about what's going on. And I think, you know, my mum's parents were murdered in Auschwitz. And, you know, she always said being British, she was so proud to be British and how the British saved her. And I think what's going on now it is is terrifying. I've never seen anything. I've never seen. I, I, the, and I don't understand why. I really don't understand why. It's like you know, Israel was given to the Jews. The Jews didn't, you know, sort of just arrive. I mean, why on earth when they had to give the Jews some country, did they put it right there? <laughs> why couldn't they have given them somewhere else? It's just it is absolutely and, ridiculous. And, and of course, I've got a few comments coming in about oh, Jim, you support the British military, but Israeli terrorists as they were called back in those days, uh, 1947, 46, 47, they killed British uh, paratroopers, blew up a hotel, etc, etc, etc. So, you know, I'm a great believer in what went on in history, should stay in history. I'm ever so pleased that King Charles didn't go and apologise to the people from Kenya, because there's no need for him to apologise. I do see on the front of the Times today, and we'll be talking about this on you, String. Let's have a look at the... Uh, um, <laughs> Kenyan, Kenya or Kenya? Kenya. 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 Envelope or envelope? Envelope. Envelope. Spit oh, or swallow? <laughs> you I'll let Deb answer that one. What? <laughs> they won't know. They don't. Envelope. I don't understand what you're talking about. No. no Kenyan detectives have flown to the UK to question British soldiers and officers over the unsolved murder of a young mother near an army base. Well, it just goes to show that the, 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 the British military even though they're the best in the world, are not, uh, they don't get a free pass. They don't get a get out of jail free card. And I think that the public should actually I understand that. To ask you. Me? Yeah, you. Go on. Why were you never a soldier? I don't like cold showers or getting up. <laughs> <laughs> getting up in the morning. No, so did you never want to be a soldier? No. Really? Oh, just... I'd like to, I was going to join the Navy. I joined, I went to sign up when I was 16. I, I did my tests and then I had a medical and a man looked up my ass with a torch. What's that about? What was he looking for? Brains. The brain, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Right, in the Express today, we'll, we'll just touch quickly on these things. It does say Ian Duncan Smith, who's another one, the Tory party are all over the place at the moment, aren't mm. they? Uh, he is saying that we shouldn't have had a lockdown. We shouldn't. No. Well, what's the point of talking about that now? It's just, you know, that was then, this is now. As you said, there's no point in going back. Of course, we should, but, you know, it, it's I don't think they're there. really going to learn from it as well. It's very much... Dominic Cummings and, and it's, oh, let's blame Boris for everything. The whole thing was a bit of a shit show, wasn't it? Let's face it. And, you know, these models that we base things on, which were so wrong, these models. And, you know, it was never factored in that the, the, the impact it would have on the economy and mental health and children missing out on ch childhood, education, life. I don't get that. I never went to school. It didn't affect me. I can still read certain things. Yeah, certain things. Yeah, certain <laughs> things, pictures. okay. What about, did you have an injection? Excuse me? No, I mean, did you have... <laughs> did you have your jab? <laughs> she looked straight down to the lap. <laughs> did, did, did you have the uh, inoculation thing? Yes, I had to have three because I, I was working. Oh, okay. And so I wasn't allowed to work without them. 
Yeah, what about did you? you? I, I did because I, I wanted to go abroad. Yeah. yeah. So I felt sort of pressurised to, to do it because I was yeah. going abroad. I wouldn't have done. No. Well, well I'm, I'm not having another one now. I've been all. talked into not having one. Oh, good. Have you had, how many have you had, Jim? Seven. <laughs> Women? He got obsessed no. with it. What? You got obsessed with the whole... Were, were you kidding, what? Jack? You obsessed with what? The COVID thing. You were really quite... Um, concerned about the whole thing, weren't you? At yeah, the time? I was. Yeah. yeah, I was, but I won't have a jab now and I won't have a flu jab. Why? Because no, I, I don't admit that I'm old. Oh. I don't have any jabs. Young at heart. Let us, let us say goodbye to everybody on <laughs> YouTube as we prepare to do all this shit again without the spelling mistakes <laughs> uh, on Ustream and you can see it uh, this afternoon. We'd like to thank our audience as well. Bye -bye. There's loads who of dogs. Are asleep. Yes. <laughs> We've this got three dogs in the studio. Yeah, and some animals too. <laughs> See you on Ustream.